So the idea for today is that we're going to build something like this, where you can actually paint with boxes. <laughs> so, so yeah, so this is what we're going to be building today. So let's, let's jump right into it. So if you see the starter code that I posted in uh, the Discord, you'll, you'll notice a couple things. Um, just take a minute to open that up. And um, if you start typing in the REPL, like just type anything, it'll make a copy for you uh, in your REPL account automatically. So you can just take the code and start, start typing. So yeah, um, and if you run it, you'll notice uh, what we have so far is we have a box that follows our mouse. So just to quickly run over what, how we did that in the last workshop, um, we have this div here that is this box. And in our scripts, we have an event listener for mouse move. And when the mouse moves, we call this function called move box. And in move box, we, this e.clientx, that gives us the x position of our mouse. And this e.client y gives us the y position of our mouse. So if you notice in the console right over here, uh, you'll see these numbers and they're scrolling. And you'll notice as you get closer to the edge, uh, the x coordinate becomes small, closer to the y, y coordinate becomes small. Um, and then what we do is we set our box to have a top and left of our mouse positions. So that lets us um, move this box with our mouse. And we have this little offset because we want the mouse to be in the center and um, let's just take this out for a moment just to see what that does. And you'll see that we're actually at the top left corner. So that's why we need the offset to put it in the middle. So let's do that. Let's keep that back there. Cool. So now, how do we actually get the boxes to stay on the screen when we click? So that's the focus of this workshop. So the way we're going to do that, actually, before I move on, uh, does anyone have any questions so far on this? Nope. Sweet. Um, awesome. So yeah, let, let's keep going. So let's make a function so that we can uh, make boxes that stay when we click. And then once we do that, we can attach an event listener that on click runs. So let's make a function. Uh, let's call it maybe place box. And we're going to have that event uh, in our parameter, like, like last time. So the way that you make a box, because the reason that this is different is because we're dynamically creating a box out of nothing. We're not simply selecting something that's already in the HTML. We're actually creating an HTML element. So the way we do that is we create a new variable. Let's just call it new box. And we actually do this document dot create element. And we're going to create a div because the div will allow us to create a box similar to last time. Now, um, let's just console log this to see what happened. And in order to make this happen, we actually have to attach that event listener that I was talking about earlier. So we'll just add one more event listener, document.addEventListener. And this is the click event listener because we want to add the box on click. And uh, we're going to place box on click. So if we run this, let's open in a new tab. Um, and reload. Wait. Ah, perfect. And let's open up our console. 
So you'll notice um, we have this box that moves around and we go to the console and when we click, you'll see a little div pops up in our console. It moves, it moves away fast because um, when we move the box, but if we keep the box stationary, you'll notice that these divs keep popping up. So cool. So now we have, we're creating this element, a div. What's up, Oliver? Hey. All right, and then next, now that we've created this div, um, let's actually do something with it. Um, let's put it on our screen. So the way we do that is um, we do document dot body dot append child. And we want to append this new box. Cool. So now when we run this, uh, let's go to our new tab and run it. Let's check out elements as we run it. So we click, oh, look, we have this new div showing up in our console, in our elements. You see, every time we click, it dynamically creates boxes, which is super cool. But unfortunately, um, they're not showing up on the page because we haven't styled them. So let's style them now. Any questions so far? Can you explain what a pen child does? Yeah, for sure. So a pen child, it creates these divs inside the body. So what we did here was we appended the child to the document.body. So inside body, it's creating these divs because div is now a quote unquote child of body, which means it's inside body. Thank you. For sure. Um, cool. So now let's actually style this so that we can actually see it. So the way we style this is we're going to style it almost exactly like this. So let's just copy these over so that we can, um, so that we can reference them. So we're just going to paste these in and let's comment them all out. Cool. So now we have this as a reference. So now let's um, let's style them. So new box dot style dot width. We're gonna set that equal to 100 px. New box dot style dot height. Let's set that to oops, to 100 px as well. New box dot style dot background color, set that equal to hashtag 333. So we just reached this line and let's just keep going. So new box dot style dot position, set that equal to absolute. And we actually don't have any font in this div. So I'm just gonna remove this. Awesome. So cool. So now if we run this, let's see what happens. So oops, let's run this. Now if we click, oh, the div ended up all the way in the top left corner. Now, why is that? That's because we actually forgot to set the uh, top and left of our div. And that we can get through the event. Any questions so far? Sweet, cool. So now let's set the top and left. So new box dot style dot top. We're gonna set that equal to e dot client y, and we're just gonna add the unit to it. And then we're just gonna do the same thing with left. Left, and we'll set that equal to 
p dot prime x plus p x. And just just for reference, like a lot of the syntax I did look up beforehand. Um, usually when you're, you're coding, you'll probably look up a lot of this stuff. So cool. So now if we run this, let's see what we got. Cool. So we actually have some divs now, but it looks like when I click, the mouse ends up in the top left corner of our box. And if you remember, we actually had this offset so that our box moves in the center of our mouse. Sorry, so the mouse moves in the center of our box. So to, to account for that, we actually have to do the same thing here. So let's just do that offset. And let's do this offset here too. Now check it out. You're painting with boxes. 